Imagine an aircraft so fast, so advanced and so untouchable, that no missile system on Earth could even react before it vanishes into the sky. That machine is the SR-72, a hypersonic predator designed to rewrite the rules of modern warfare. Built to push past Mach 6 and soar at extreme altitudes, the SR-72 often called the Dark Star is shaping up to be faster, smarter, and deadlier than anything the world has ever seen. With unmatched speed, stealth, and precision strike capability, this aircraft could shift the balance of power in ways we've never witnessed. But what does the rise of this machine mean for regional security? And more importantly, how could it transform Israel's military strength? Let's uncover the shocking potential of the SR-72 and what its arrival means for global air dominance. Israel has repeatedly demonstrated military superiority across multiple conflicts, consistently maintaining the upper hand. A major reason for this sustained advantage is its steady stream of advanced American weapons. The United States remains Israel's largest defense supplier, providing nearly 70% of its imported weapons in 2023 alone. These U.S.-made weapons have played a central role in Israel's recent operations against Hamas and Hezbollah. Reports show that by the end of 2023, Israel had received thousands of American-made guided bombs and missiles. In early 2024, the U.S. delivered additional F-35 and F-15 fighter jets, further strengthening Israel's air power. Investigations, including a detailed CNN analysis, revealed several instances where American weapons were used in combat some of which resulted in civilian casualties. In a recent high-profile case, CNN found that 2,000-pound U.S. bombs were likely used in the strike that killed top Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah in Beirut beyond weapons. The United States also provides massive financial support. Since 1948, the U.S. has given Israel over $130 billion in aid. A 2019 agreement guarantees Israel $3.3 billion annually through foreign military financing, plus an additional $500 million each year for missile defense programs. This deep partnership means that U.S. funding and U.S. weapons shape much of Israel's military power and how it reacts to threats. But as civilian casualties rise, human rights groups and media investigations have raised serious concerns about how American weapons are being used. These findings have sparked calls for more accountability and stricter oversight. Despite the controversies, U.S. support continues without slowing down. The flow of weapons, money, and technology remains steady, cementing the U.S.-Israel alliance as one of the most influential military partnerships in the world. Now, with the confirmation of the SR-72 program, America's defense innovation is entering a new era. But to understand how groundbreaking this aircraft truly is, we need to revisit the legend that came before it. When the SR-71 Blackbird first took flight during the Cold War, it stunned the world. This sleek jet black reconnaissance aircraft flew higher and faster than anything else in the sky. Its speed and altitude made it nearly impossible to intercept. Because of its unmatched capabilities, many believed the U.S. would never retire. The Blackbird without creating something even more powerful. So when the SR-71 was retired in the late 1980s, rumors exploded. Many were convinced that a secret successor was already being developed behind closed doors. For years there was silence until 2013, when Lockheed Martin finally revealed the concept of the SR-72. But insiders claim that behind the scenes, Skunk Works engineers had already been working on early prototypes long before the announcement. The SR-71 owed its record-breaking speed to its revolutionary Pratt and Whitney J-58 engines, which were capable of sustaining afterburner use far longer than any jet engine before it. With variable geometry inlets and a design that allowed air to flow directly to the afterburner, the J-58 enabled the Blackbird to cruise at Mach B3 for extended periods without tearing itself apart. This allowed the aircraft to slice into enemy airspace, snap intelligence from near space altitudes, and vanish before defenses even reacted. Even today, the SR-71's speed and altitude records still stand. The SR-72 aims to push those limits even further. In 2017, Orlando Carvalho, then Executive Vice President of Aeronautics at Lockheed Martin, hinted at just how far Skunk Works was going. 
He described hypersonics as the next disruptive technology, comparing it to the arrival of stealth. He suggested the SR-72 could operate at speeds two to three times faster than the Blackbird, deep into Mach 5 territory. If Lockheed Martin succeeds, the SR-72 would be nearly impossible to track or intercept. No modern missile system could lock onto something moving that fast. It could enter contested airspace, gather intelligence, strike targets, and escape before radar operators even realized it had arrived. A machine like that doesn't just change warfare, it reshapes global power. Imagine an aircraft so fast that by the time enemy radar spots it, it's already completing its mission and disappearing over the horizon. That aircraft is believed to be the SR-72 America's next leap into hypersonic dominance. Many experts suggest the SR-72 may be an unmanned monster powered by a revolutionary hybrid engine capable of switching from jet thrust to rocket-like power in flight. It could roll down a runway like a normal jet, and moments later blast into the stratosphere at hypersonic speeds, fast, agile, nearly untouchable and, possibly already, being tested in complete secrecy. At the heart of this beast is a turbine-based combined cycle engine, or TBCC. It blends a traditional jet engine for takeoff and supersonic flight with a scramjet that activates at extreme speeds. Together, they could push the SR-72 to Mach 6 e boat 2 kilometers every second. Reaching hypersonic velocity anything above Mach 5 transforms the battlefield. Stealth aircraft avoid detection by hiding. The SR-72 avoids detection by outrunning everything. Surface-to-air missiles would have only seconds to react before the aircraft vanishes from the kill zone. It could penetrate areas where even fifth-generation stealth jets wouldn't dare to fly. At Mach 6, the SR-72 could cross entire nations in minutes, performing high-speed surveillance or rapid-strike missions before an enemy even realizes what happened. No aircraft currently in service comes close to this level of performance. Military Analysts believe that if the SR-72 demonstrator successfully reaches hypersonic speeds using TBCC technology, it could ignite a new global arms race. Just as countries scrambled to build stealth fighters, nations may rush to develop their own hypersonic aircraft combining sensors, weapons, and intelligence systems that could redefine 21st century warfare. But speed alone isn't invincible, while Mach 6 makes the SR-72 incredibly hard to intercept. Anti-ballistic missile systems are advancing fast. The Raytheon Standard Missile 3, for example, has already shot down ballistic missiles and even a satellite. These weapons aren't designed for aircraft, yet they've proven they can destroy objects traveling faster than 22,000 miles per hour. By the time the SR-72 enters service potentially around 2013 new SAM systems may be able to challenge even hypersonic jets. Still, the SR-72 fills a critical gap. When the SR-71 Blackbird retired in 1998, the U.S. lost its ability to conduct lightning-fast reconnaissance over hostile territory. Satellites are powerful, but predictable locked into fixed orbits and unable to maneuver freely in real time. A hypersonic aircraft restores the ability to gather immediate flexible intelligence anywhere in the world. Beyond spying, the SR-72 could carry advanced weapons capable of striking targets. Before defenses even activate an especially valuable capability in hotspots like the Indo-Pacific, speed becomes a weapon of its own. But every breakthrough invites a countermeasure. The defense world evolves non-stop. What is untouchable today becomes vulnerable tomorrow. By the time the SR-72 becomes fully operational, rival nations may already be engineering weapons built specifically to hunt it. Yet the true significance of the SR-72 goes beyond speed or firepower. It represents a new era in aviation, a symbol of the future. A jet flying at 2 kilometers per second above 100,000 feet, carving through skies no other aircraft can reach, is more than a machine. It's a statement of technological supremacy. The SR-71 set records that still stand, over 2,100 miles per hour and altitudes above 85,000 feet. Satellites replaced much of its duty, but none can match the flexibility of an aircraft that launches immediately. That's why the SR-72 matters, designed by Lockheed Martin. The Strategic Reconnaissance 72 aims to hit Mach 6 over 4,600 miles per hour. If Lockheed succeeds, 
This aircraft will eclipse the Blackbird in speed, capability, and strategic importance. Some reports have hinted at a possible debut around 2030, showing how serious the push for hypersonic technology has become. If completed, the SR-72 wouldn't just be another aircraft, it would rewrite military strategy. Its speed and altitude would make it nearly impossible to intercept, even as air defense systems evolve. A functioning SR-72 would restore America's ability to gather real-time intelligence or launch precision strikes anywhere on the planet at a moment's notice. Even in its conceptual phase, the SR-72 is already influencing global defense planning. If it becomes reality, it may shape the next generation of reconnaissance and strike aircraft just as the SR-71 shaped the last dot. Imagine Israel unveiling a machine so fast, so untouchable, that it could change the balance of power overnight. If the Strategic Reconnaissance 72 ever entered Israeli service, it would push the nation's air and intelligence capabilities into an entirely new era. Flying at hypersonic speeds and extreme altitudes, this aircraft could slip deep into hostile airspace, capture high-resolution images of troop movements or missile sites, and vanish before enemy radars even realize it was there. Commanders wouldn't rely on old intel they'd be watching threats unfold in real time, making faster, sharper decisions with near-perfect clarity. But surveillance is only part of the story. The SR-72 could also deploy precision-guided munitions to strike high-value targets with almost no warning. Picture a jet diving in at impossible speed, releasing a smart weapon onto a missile launcher or command bunker, and escaping before defenses even begin to react. Against groups like Hezbollah, against advanced state militaries, those lightning hit-and-run strikes would be devastating, forcing enemies to scatter, hide, and constantly second-guess their next move. And then there's the psychological impact. Once adversaries know Israel possesses an aircraft no one can chase or intercept, they become far more cautious. Any attempt to mass forces or launch a surprise attack carries a new, frightening risk, being watched, tracked, and struck before they have time to blink. That alone builds a powerful layer of deterrence. Of course, such a game-changing jet would trigger a wave of countermeasures. Neighboring states would rush to develop anti-hypersonic missiles, space-based tracking systems, and directed energy defenses. Israel would need fortified hangars, rapid turnaround maintenance, and airtight security to keep the fleet operational. A new arms race one built on speed and instant response would almost certainly follow DOT in any future conflict. The SR-72 would shape Israel's first moves. Within minutes, it could disable enemy command networks, blind air defenses, and neutralize missile batteries long before opposing forces mobilize. Over time, Israeli doctrine would evolve around ultra-rapid warfare, where victory depends on who sees and strikes first. No aircraft is truly invincible, but introducing the Strategic Reconnaissance 72 would redefine air power across the Middle East. It would boost Israel's surveillance, sharpen its strike capabilities, strengthen deterrence, and force every rival to rethink the future of warfare. A leap in capability built for the next generation.